Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is John Randall from Golden Care. Um, we're going to be going through the Mutual Omaha uh, product and software today. Um, so I hope you all enjoy this. I'm going to keep it open so we can ask questions right away. Um, I do have a fairly nice number of people on, so I might have to mute it somewhere in there, but I will unmute it at the end if I do. Um, just uh, to, to answer all your questions. So, uh, again, I want to thank you for taking time out of your day. Um, as you can see on my screen right there, we have the Mutual Omaha um, software up there. So I'm going to go ahead and switch it to uh, Iowa, which is a pretty neutral state. Um, there's most of the states follow the rules of Iowa, so I use that one um, as far as inflation for partnership, everything. But today I'll give you a quick tutorial about how to use the software, um, some easy ways to make it work, and also um, show you the benefits of the long-term care policy with Mutual Omaha right now by far being the number one policy out there. Uh, I think we'll see that you work with, and with Golden Care in your back office, we're good to work with. So go ahead and get started here. One of the first things you want to notice is right over on the left-hand side, you can put the names of your client. You can put your name as the agent. And every time you do a quote, you can hit copy quote, and it will copy what you have on the board. At the end of the day, when you're done, you can save that client. And then when you open up your software, anytime you can have a new client be put in. All right, so we'll go ahead from there. First of all, you want to do the state that they're in. As you can see, it lists all the states. If it's not in that state, it won't allow you to use it. So it's a very user-friendly software. Uh, again, I'm going to use Iowa. We have both our products, the custom and the secure. Now, we do about 80 to 90, maybe even a little more percent of our business with the custom. So I'm going to stick with that. The reason being it has a lot more options on it. You can fit it to your clients a lot better. And I'll point through as we go through some of the other difference, the main one being having a cash benefit, having the chance for 200 professional home care, and having the um, inflation protection buy-up. So again, that's where you choose your state, which product you're gonna use. If it's partner both insured, if just one is insured, make sure when you do one insure, you make sure you hit the male or female button because as you can see, it makes a big difference these days between male and female. And then if it's a single person, you hit there. We'll go ahead and do a couple today and we will do a 65-year-old male and a 60-year-old female. So over here next with that, if you do have a birth date and you put the birth date in, it'll automatically save age. Uh, Mutual Omaha saves age up to 30 days. Um, so if you're wondering about a birth date and what age it'll be, you can go ahead and put the, uh, the date in and it'll figure it out for you. If you know their age, you can just put that. Then you pick out whether they're select, preferred, class one or class two. Now we try to tell our agents almost always put the people through at select and if they can be looked at preferred, they will move them up. Um, don't be afraid to put a cover page that says please, um, please, con please consider preferred for this client. Um, but we do know it's easier to collect the money on select and give them money back if they get preferred than the other way around. And and to get preferred these days in long-term care, it's not an easy task. So one thing that's pretty nice about doing the select is that's more, better chance they won't get rated up if you did it to preferred and moved it back. Next, you wanna look at the monthly benefit. It goes anywhere from $1,500 to $10,000. Let's just do a nice, easy $4,000. It automatically puts the base the same benefit in for both the husband and the wife, but you can change that 
to get 4,000, 3,000 for ease of this appointment. We're just going to do 4,000 a piece. Policy limit, let's do 150,000. That gives you a 3.13 year um, benefit period. Now, a lot of people say, well, I want a three-year benefit. Exactly. Well, if you know what the three-year benefit is, you can just go like this and pop it in. And I don't know what it is, so I'm going to look at Secure. I'm going to do 4000 for three years is $144,000. So I go back to Custom. I go right here, and I hit 144. And there you go, I have exactly a three-year benefit. So if you're comparing apples to apples with other companies, that's the perfect way to do it. Um, I have made some charts for some of my agents. If they always sell, you know, four, forty-five hundred, and five thousand or whatever, I'll give them a chart that says two, three, four, and five years. Here's the amount you need to put in. But again, just going back to the secure, you can look it up in about less than, you know, 30 seconds and get the exact amount you have to type in to get an exact year. Next is our elimination period. You can see we have zero through 365 days, and then the home health care waiver of premium. Now, I am a big believer in the home health care waiver of premium, but it does add about 9%, anywhere from 9 to 12 um, so that's, again, something you want to look at, what your clients might be able to afford. So I'm going to put the home health care waiver premium on there um, just because I'm going to use it to explain some extra benefits a little later. Um, basically what it says when you have that is right away, day one, if they're staying at home, they can get their monthly benefit for the home care. They go on waiver of premium just the client does, um, but they start collecting benefits right away. If they're using the reimbursement benefit, it starts eating away their elimination period for the nursing home or the assisted living. So if they can stay at home for 90 days, now they wiped out all of their elimination period. And I like to see that because 20 years down the road, if they, if John uses this at the age of 85, and he doesn't have that waiver of premium on, he's going to have to pay that first 90 days of care by himself. And if it's something pretty catastrophic, yeah. and he ends up in a nursing home right away, that can be quite a chunk of money. So you have to weigh the difference of how much extra you're paying on your premium if they can afford it and what they can afford to later in life paying for that 90 days. Inflation options, you have a ton of options with the custom solution. You can see you have, right here, I have 3% listed. I can take that for a lifetime, 20 years, 15 years, 10 years. Now you see when it switches to yellow, it's saying, you know what? That's not partnership qualified for this age. So I can do 3% for 20 years, or I can do 3% for a lifetime and, and still have my partnership qualification. Now, partnership qualification, remember, is dollar for dollar asset protection. Um, in this case, they each have a $144,000 pool of money growing at 3%. And when they use that, what, whatever amount they use in that comes as dollar for dollar asset protection. If they still were living and they ended up in going to a Medicaid nursing home or going on Medicaid, they can say you have to spend your assets down, down to the point of how much of your long-term care you already use. So say they used it 15, 20 years from now and used 170000 in coverage, that would be how much um, asset protection they get to have on the partnership program. Now, if you also look, look at what the premium does when you jump up to 4,000 or 4%. And the nice part about this software, if you can't tell, every time you make a switch, 
the price switch is right in front of you, so you know exactly what you have. Back to the 3%, 4%, you can go down to the 2%, it's not going to be partnership, so you'd have to click that off to see what the price is. But the price is really driven by the inflation protection, so um, that's one thing you want to look at. That's a great place. The older the client, maybe the less apt you are to put inflation on and just give them a bigger monthly benefit. The younger people, maybe the bigger inflation you can get them. Um, again, it all goes by um, the age of the client. Excuse me. The inflation protection buy-up option is really nice, and that's included in the custom, not the secure. What that says is if you sold John and Jane Doe this policy, and any time in the first 20 years or until the age of 75, they decided to raise their inflation, as long as they're not on claim, they can do it without showing insurability. So if we back these people up to a 55 and a 50-year-old, I'm just using numbers out of the blue here. Now they both have 20 years of time they could raise their inflation. Let's say 15 years from now John starts showing signs of Alzheimer's or dementia um, and the wife knows it runs in his family. He's already, you know, showing quite a few signs of it. She could raise his inflation to 5%. They readjust the premium at that time. But within that year, if he gets diagnosed with Alzheimer's, he goes on claim. His pool of money is going to be building by 5%, but he is on waiver of premium, so he won't be paying it anymore. When it's probably real more realistic is you're selling to some 50-year-olds, maybe 55 and 50, but they have kids in college and they have a little bit of mortgage left to pay, and they say, you know what, I want to buy this policy, um, but I can't afford that much. You put it down to the 1%, take the partnership off, and say, okay, here we can save you $130 a month. And now in five years, without showing insurability, if anything happened to you, it wouldn't matter. We can raise that inflation up two, three, four, five. In fact, every year on your anniversary, you can raise your inflation without showing insurability. But that gives them time to pay their mortgage off, get their kids through college, whatever the case or the reason they can't afford it. But they're still um, qualified enough where they know they need some type of care. They just can't afford it all at that point. That's a great reason why they would want to use that buy-up option. Over here you can see you can adjust the assisted living uh, from 100% built in to 75 or 50%. You can say you do the same thing for home care, move it down to 75 or 50%. And that really just depends on the people, how much they can afford to pay for or what their reasoning would be. Um, sometimes a single person will say, if something happens to me, I probably won't be able to stay at home anyway, so let's drop that down to 50% home care. And again, that would probably be on a single person. Um, some people just say, you know what, I'm gonna try to stay at home under all costs. Let's reduce the assisted living, because if it gets that bad, I'll probably end up in a nursing home. Um, so they'll just put that at the 50% to save some premium dollars. But basically we want the flexibility so when you're talking to your client, you can do what they want to do and where you're still in charge of the long-term care expert and you know what's right for them. They still have their own wishes and their own reasoning and any time we can save them some premium dollars, that's exactly what we want to do. Some other options that aren't actually available on the secure, we have the shared care. Shared care says that if something happened to John or Jane and they use their policy up, they can dip into the other person's policy 
um, and use that. They do have to leave at least one year of care. But if you looked at this situation with Jane and John, if John got Alzheimer's, he could use his full three years and two more years of Jane's policy, basically giving him a five-year policy. Where you'll see this is really comes in handy, a lot of times the man, if you've been in long-term care long, you'll notice when you're presenting it, the woman is shaking her head yes, and dad shaking his head no. Why? Because a lot of men just don't believe they're ever going to end up in a nursing home or needing long-term care. Unfortunately, we've seen them there. But we also do know it is something that more women are using, and that's why they have the gender rating, and you can see the women are more expensive than the men. Um, it's always been that way that women last longer in the nursing home and just last longer in general in a long-term care situation. But a lot of the husbands look at this and say, you know what, that is a good deal. We each have a three-year plan, but if I pass away, she has a six-year plan. Or if she gets Alzheimer's, she has a five and I still have a one. And the shared care then also puts that two pots of 144,000, both of you, one of you could use up both of it and use that as the partnership plan um, for dollar-dollar asset protection. So shared care is a very nice option. It gives you that little chance where you can sell smaller policies knowing that if one of them passes away, they get they inherit the whole other person. Now in, Paris, in this case, if they have this and John passes away, his premium of 146 disappears. Jane still pays $208, but now instead of a 4,000 a month, for three years, she actually has 4000 a month for six years. So she has a really nice policy, and that also includes whatever it's built up with inflation. So that's what shared care does. Survivorship says if they've had this plan for at least 10 years and one of them passes away, the other one has a lifetime waiver of premium. Now, I like it because if you look at it, it doesn't add a lot of premium. But where it's really nice is if you have a one-income family because if the income earner loses his income, we don't want the other person to have to lose their policy in case they didn't have enough life insurance or whatever. But it's just a nice, easy way to say, hey, you know what? If one of us passes away, the other one has a lifetime waiver of premium. They'll never have to worry about their policy. Um, so that's really nice. And that's what survivorship does. Joint waiver of premium, you can really see, is very inexpensive. Joint waiver of premium is nice because when you go on claim, you automatically have a waiver of premium. Again, in a one-income family, or even just because of the fact you're losing one income, when you go on claim with joint waiver of premium, Neither of you have to pay your premium until the one a client, God forbid, passes away or even better gets better or exhausts their plan. But then they don't have that. Then they, the one wouldn't stay on premium anymore. But the joint waiver premium I really like just because it's very cheap. Um, again, look at that $6 a month for a 55 and a 50-year-old. The security benefit's also another nice one. If, if I click it right now, it's going to go to yellow. Why? Because the security benefit is made for somebody who is uninsurable or just didn't take the insurance. Again, so if you have a husband and wife, and the wife really wants it and the husband doesn't want it, but the wife knows she's going to need help taking care of her, she could add that benefit. So basically, you'll have partners one insured. You add the security benefit, and you can see it adds quite a bit of load to it, and it's actually 60%. But what that says there is, okay, We here we have John has a policy. He has the security benefit in on it. Um, and let's just say because Jane has Alzheimer's, so she's uninsurable. 
now when John goes on claim, he's going to get an extra. Um, he's going to get an extra check for sixty percent of his policy, which would be twenty four hundred dollars that he can use towards his own care, towards her care. He can go to the casino, he can do whatever he wants with it. It's an extra check that doesn't come out of his pool of money, but he can use it any way he wants. It also goes towards asset protection on the partnership. So John's getting his 4000 a month, and he goes on claim. He gets an extra check written out for 2400 If they're at home care, he can use that for Jane's care at home. If they're in assisted living, he can use it towards Jane's care in the assisted living or in the nursing home. He can put it towards her care there. So it's very nice to have, especially when you walk into a house and you see mom and dad sitting there and one of them sitting in a wheelchair. You already know they're uninsurable. But boy, if somebody's already taken care of a person, the chance of them needing care goes up quite a bit. In fact, it was a 2008 study, and I haven't been able to find it again, but it said if you're a caregiver at the age of 65 years old, the chance of you needing care increases 75%. Well, we already know if you make it to 65, you have an over 50% chance of needing care. You add that to 75% more chance, and there's just a good chance as a caregiver you're going to be given someone that needs caregiving. So um, that security benefit can be used in a lot of different ways. It's also a great thing to tell mom and dad when you walk in, they both apply for coverage, and you say, boy, you know, I, I think I can get you both coverage. I don't know what the doctors know what to say. You're on the edge here, but don't worry, I have another option. Um, that we can keep the long-term care and get you some type of coverage. Um, besides all the other plans that we carry here at Golden Care for those types of situations, it's just one more thing in your briefcase um, to be able to help your client out with. Now over here we're going to go to the optional benefits. The non-forfeiture, um, I can tell you we just never sell it. Um, basically, it adds about 12% to your premium. I'm going to go back to both people insured. And basically, it's saying that for some reason, if you can't afford this plan in the future and you drop it, you get to get back what you paid in at premium. You're basically selling a plan if somebody wants that, that right off the bat, they're saying, yeah, I probably won't be able to afford this later. Well, maybe there's a different option for them because that doesn't sound like a very good plan to sell to your clients. Um, there's already a shortened benefit period, the non-forfeiture, contingent non-forfeiture built into a plan that says if you have rate increases compared to how long you've had the plan and your age, here's a certain amount you can get back. Um, so I wouldn't recommend it. There's uh, one option where I saw where the guy says I have a company where we make a lot of money and it's a very volatile company. I'm going to have my company pay my premiums um, but five or ten years from now if we go you know, insolvent I want to at least be able to get that money back towards, towards some type of long term care and I can afford it now. So that was the only time I thought, well, yeah, that makes a little bit of sense. Anyway, so it's not a recommended. We don't sell much of it at all. Um, the 200 professional home care I really like. Basically what that is, when you put it on, it's not super expensive. But instead of $4,000 at home for your monthly benefit, any time a professional comes in, you get doubled for that day. So if you really needed help for all 30 days, if you needed a professional come in, instead of 4000 a month, it would give you up to 8000 a month. And again, that would go up depending on what that bill by inflation. 
but between the 200% home care and the zero home health care waiver, the thing we can do almost for sure is keep you at home for 90 days, regardless of the situation. I mean, you could have a pretty bad stroke, and hopefully with that 8000 a month, we can keep you at home with 24-hour care and get rid of the elimination period that you'd have to pay 90 days later if you went to a nursing home or assisted living. So not only does it help you keep people at home longer, but it also takes care of that 90-day wait, hopefully under most of all the different circumstances. Partnership, again, dollar for dollar asset protection compared to the policy limit of how much you're using of it. There is three different kinds of return of premium. Um, none is what we sell the most of. Before age 65 is actually not very expensive to put on, if you can see. But it just says if either one of these clients die before they reach the age of 65, they'll get all their money returned to them. We do see we sell this when we're dealing with younger clients or clients that say, you know, we have a tendency in our family just not to live that long. Um, that's not a very expensive option to put on. And again, if you're dealing with the younger clients, it's very good. Three times monthly maximum benefit just says, and again, a little more expensive than before age 65 because it goes on as long as you have your policy. But it says if you pass away at any time, you get three times your monthly maximum benefit. So if that grew to 5000 a month down the line and they passed away, they would get a check for $15,000. Or if it happened right away, three times 4000 they get a check for 12000 Basically, it's kind of like putting a little um, final expense policy or whole life policy with your long-term care. Not right for every situation, but there is certain situations where it's kind of nice. And then we have the full-blown less claims paid. And you can see that one adds quite a bit a month, quite a bit of premium dollars. But it says any time in your life if you pass away, we'll give you back 100% of your premium you paid in minus any claims paid. So we don't sell a lot of it. Um, just because people that are buying it know you really don't want to have to use it. One of the biggest things is, what if I pay in all that money and don't have to use it? Well, thank God. That's probably not a bad thing that you don't end up in a nursing home or needing nursing care at home. But if that's one thing they're worried about, then you could put that return of premium on there is some other options out there, like the Minnesota Life that has a live, die, or quit program. Um, we do have other things that take care of that need if that's what they're really afraid of. Again, look how the price changes. We want to show your annual, semi-annual, quarter, monthly. No matter what we do with the software, that price changes instantly. So when you're sitting in front of the client or doing it over the internet like most of the sales are made today, your client gets to see that price change right in front of you. If you do are selling to somebody when you have an association that's set up with Mutual Omaha, they get 5%. If you're selling to the producer like yourself and your spouse, they get a 5% discount. The employer discount right now is called the common employer. If you have five or more employees that all work for the same place and they enter their apps, there'll be a 5% discount for them and, and their spouses and any other future employees that apply for long-term care. It's called the common employer and there's no underwriting give up, but it does give you a 5% discount. So it's kind of nice. Again, say you want to look at this, save this quote, you copy it, and you say, now I want it with shared care, and you copy that quote, and you say, now I want to look at it. 
You can either print it out, you can preview it, you can email it to somebody, or you can make a PDF of it. So let's just, for this client right here, we'll just preview what it looks like. And I'm gonna hit all of these to show you what you can put on a quote, either when you're sending it to somebody. And just take a second here to pop up. So right away you can see it has a very nice cover page on it. I can make this a little bit bigger. So it has a nice cover page on it. Then it goes into the actual quote page. I'm gonna make that bigger so I can show you the top part of it. The quote page really lays it out nice. You have the client, you know, first and last name, plan design, mail, here's what their rate classification, policy limit, their cash benefit, Cash benefit starts zero days right off the bat. And if you use just the cash benefit, and the cash benefit's the exact same qualifications, two out of six ADLs or cognitive impairment, you could start taking the cash benefit right off the hand. If you only use the cash benefit, it would last about seven and a half years. If you only use the reimbursement benefit, it would last three years. So when you're talking to your client, you can tell them real safety. We have a plan that's going to last you somewhere between three and seven and a half years. You can take cash, go to reimbursement, and go back to cash. But this uh, qualification page really looks nice. It tells you here's how much you have for a nursing home, assisted living, home health care, your professional home health care, remember that's up to 8000 a month. Your elimination period, again, it's in calendar days, meaning once you have your first day of care under the reimbursement, your calendar starts clicking and it goes out 90 days. And you have zero day home health care. Your nursing home, again, three months period. It is partnership qualified. Here's your inflation, 3% compound lifetime with buyout. You have the waiver of home health care, professional home health care, and a shared benefit on this one. It shows the savings for having a partner, monthly premium. Here's your annual, semi-annual, quarterly, or monthly, and there it is combined. So I just wanted to show you that a little more up close. That's a very nice page to look at. And then there's optional pages here that again just show you, here's your box right in the middle, you have a 3% with the 4,000 monthly with the 1,600 cash benefit. What if I wanted 5,500 instead of 4,000? Well, you'd slide it over and it'd be $171.26 a month. It's just nice little variation page so you don't have to carry around 90 quotes with you. This shows you how you can raise or lower your assisted living or home care to get different benefit amounts. Of course, it does it for the husband and wife. This shows you how the inflation that you pick grows. 3% grows your cash benefit in 20 years. We go to $28.89. Your $4,000 monthly benefit in 20 years will be $7,224, sorry. And your pool of money will go from 144 to 260. Again, just nice little different pages. It shows you a break-even page. You know, if you had this policy for 20 years, you'd be age 75. Here's your premium. Here's the future month of cost of care, and it take you 143 dollars to recover everything you put into that policy. So the break-even policy is kind of nice. Again, you can save that client and then bring it back up. But at this point, I'm going to open it up for questioning because I know your time is valuable and I'm running really close here. So. The conference is now in talk mode. Is there any questions I can answer for anybody? I, I would 
certainly like to have this. I could watch this for four or five times and, and still get something out of it. Yep, um, definitely they're going to send you a slideshow of today's presentation. Um, if you go to our website, which is goldencareagent.com, you can go to our training, and we actually have Tom Randall, who does a much better job, and goes through the slides, um, and you definitely will learn something from that. Um, and it also has our pre-recorded training on our uh, home health care products, our, which are near guaranteed issue, our critical cash product, our Minnesota Life Live, Die, or Quit product. Um, we have a lot of nice training. It also goes through our consumer presentation, um, which is really nice to use and to learn by. So, and then again, that's just www goldencareagent.com Well, thanks. This is a terrific presentation. Hey, thank you, sir. I will tell you if you uh, haven't taken the step yet, um, not only is Golden Care a great company to be with, and we have great back office support, we're looking at all to get into long-term care, there is nothing like the Mutual Omaha product out there. Uh, Mutual Omaha is a great company to work with, but this product, bar none right now out there on the market, is one of the most stable. It has the best benefits, and you can design it around your client. So um, make sure you uh, take the next step. In the email we follow up with, you will have a contracting form if you're not signed up yet. And I'm an agent too, so I know what it's like. You want to get get to it, but you put it on your to-do stack, and pretty soon it gets buried. So um, let Golden Care walk you through and help you uh, raise your long-term care sales. We have a great back office team here. Um, and again, I'll give you a couple more minutes if anybody else has any questions. All right. Well, I want to again thank everybody for taking the time out of their day uh, to join me. Um, hopefully I didn't put you all to sleep. Um, I think my cold cleared up a little bit, so hopefully you can understand me. Dial in 800-842-7799 if you have any questions. That's 800-842-7799. You guys have a wonderful day. Enjoy your week and take care. Thanks much.